Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baha, Rechaha Kodash. Double honor to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect. Adwan Ratazar, <clears throat> that is to say, Lord willing, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Um, you know, this is just, this is just horrible, man, okay? But at the same time, it is the judgment of the Lord Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, okay? So, as you can see, this is an article that was dated the 22nd of March. This was back in 2022, all right, and it's from the BBC News, okay? <clears throat> and it goes to show you, you know, how cruel and sadistic, you know, the Israelite woman, specifically the so-called black woman, all right, you know, the tribe of the, you know, <clears throat> southern kingdom, all right, can be how wicked she can be to her young. All right. So the headline says, Dweller Naya, if I'm saying his name right, Robinson Deletion. All right. I have to say it like that because YouTube's sensitive. The boy scalded, caned, and unalived by his mum. Okay. Underneath that image, and that's the, the boy there, says Dweller Naya Robinson was just three years old when he was deleted in November 2022. So coming up to, you know, two years. All right, nearly two years. Christina Robinson has been found guilty of unaliving her three-year-old son, Dwellanaya, who has suffered more than 60 injuries, including large excruciating burns to his lower body in November 2022. What happened to him and how did she try to hide what she had done? How, how could you do that? How, how can you actually do that to your own offspring? To your own son? Christina Robinson said she did her best for her son. That's her best. Imagine her worst. And even it says, here it is. What then? Prosecutors ask, what uh, would her worst look like? Terrible parent, man. Terrible. Dwell and I suffered agonizing injuries in the weeks before his unalivement, for which no medical help was sought. Was religiously caned for open quote disobedience end quote and would regularly be left home alone while his mother went shopping gave lifts to her illicit boyfriend or attended nail appointments put that above her son man selfish and evil man on top of that the injuries that she that she did to him okay if we go down health experts said dwelling i had dwelling i been hospitalized he would have needed a general anesthetic Every day, just for the changing of his bandages. Disgusting, man. Okay. We go down further. They found deep bruise marks on his elbows, suggesting he had been grabbed and, and fatal brain injuries caused by a forceful shaking. To your own son, man. It's honestly, it's disgusting. Okay. Cruel and just and just wicked, and it it's like she has no remorse. So I'm gonna go to the Book of Lamentations, chapter four, and verse two, which reads, "The precious sons of Zion." Now the word Zion goes back to the Hebrew word Tzion, which means monument. All right, because the Lord remembers His people. Okay. So verse 2 again, the precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold, how are they esteemed as earthen pitchers, the work of the hands of the potter? Okay. So who are the precious sons of Zion? All right, the children of Israel, which today are the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans and Seminole Indians and West Indians and Haitians, so-called, okay, as well as Israelite foreigners, you speckled bird, okay. You make, you make up the 12 tribes of Israel, the Lord's chosen people, okay. You know, we are princes, man, of the power. All right? Yasha Allah. He, um, Yah, he, Shah, prince, Allah, meaning God. He is a prince of God, or the power. Okay. How are they esteemed as earth and pitches, the work of the hands of the potter? You know, once earthen vessels hit the ground, you know, you drop it, you know, it just shatters and, and breaks into pieces. When it hits the the floor, it becomes useless. You consider it useless because it's broken, okay? Then it you know just discarded, you know, 
just tossed away. Just like, you know, how this mother treated her, her little son, Dwelling I. Alright. And the, the scriptures clearly said what our woman would be like towards her offspring. Okay. Which you find that in the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28. Okay. In verse 56. And it reads, the tender, the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. And believe it or not, at one point, especially in the ancient world, man, okay, you know, you know, the Israelite woman were, was tender and so, so feminine, all right, so feminine, okay, she had all her hair and all, I look, look the Judite woman, all right, <laughs> She has to wear wigs and weaves, okay. She she lacks respect for this, you know, for her, her head, the, you know, the so-called black man, okay. The Lord took away her hair, all right. So hey, back in the ancient world, man, our women were feminine, okay. Now they're just beasts, okay. Her eye, meaning her mind, shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter, just like her son dwelling eye. Okay. Verse 57 And toward her young one that cometh out from her between her feet, and toward her children which she shall bear, for she shall eat them for want of all things secretly in the siege and straightness wherewith in thine enemy shall distress thee in thy gate. Okay. Let's go back to Lamentations chapter 4. We'll go to verse 3. And it reads, even the sea monsters draw out the breast, they give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel, like the ostrich in the wilderness. You know the nature of ostrich, man. They're, they're, they're dessert, you know. They're, uh, they're young, alright. Let's get this in the uh, another translation. Alright. Lamentation chapter 4 verse 3 in the Amplified Version. Even the jackals offer the breast, they nurse their young, but the daughter of my people has become cruel, like ostriches in the wilderness that desert their young. Yeah. And, and she maltreated, mistreated, man. Her son. Okay. Big time. Evil, man. Wickedness. Here it is. You, you, carried, you carried that that soul in, in your you know womb for nine months gave birth to it and all that okay and just injured him all right caned him shook him violently and did, and did all that disgusting man book of job chapter 39 verse 13 Gavest thou the goodly wings unto the peacocks, or wings and feathers unto the ostrich, which leaveth her eggs in the earth, and warmeth them in dust, and forgetteth that the foot may crush them, or that the wild beast may break them? She's hardened, right? Like this woman, like this mother here, right? She's hardened against her young ones, as though they were not hers. Her labour is in vain without fear. See? Cruel to her young ones, okay? Verse 17, because Yahweh hath deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. <laughs> she definitely has no wisdom and no understanding. Or else she wouldn't have been like that to her, to her child. That you put things, like your nail appointments above him. And just leaving him alone like that. So that was that precept. Let's get another precept in the book of Prophet Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9 and it reads the heart meaning the mind is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it you know some people may have even considered that woman to be you know a lovely neighbor all right she may have even been outwardly all right a, a, a lovely parent people may have perceived her to be this lovely parent all right to her son and then behind closed doors she's doing things like this okay hey but she's caught all right and see the Lord sees what's going on. Okay. That's desperately wicked. The heart is desperately wicked, man. Who can know it? 
All right. Let's get a precept in Isaiah chapter 49. Start at verse 14. Promise to Zion, subheading. Verse 14. But Zion said, The Lord Yahweh hath forsaken me, and my Lord hath forgotten me. Verse 15. Can a woman forget her sucking child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. You see that? You know, this is a very comforting scripture, man. The Lord has not forgotten us. You see? And the Lord will never forget us. Alright? Because the Lord always loves the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect, first and foremost. Alright? Let's get another precept in the book of Psalm, chapter 27. From verse 10, and it reads, When my father and my mother forsake me, then Adawan Yahweh will take me up. Let's get this in the NLT, New Living Translation. So Psalm chapter 27, verse 10 in the NLT. Even if my father and mother abandon me, the Lord will hold me close. See? So the Lord is with his elect, man. Okay. And yeah, again, this is very comfort comforting. And that's the beauty of the, these scriptures, man. All right? <clears throat> and the Lord has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Okay? But... The sufferings that, you know... Calls on onto a to a son is just horrible. So with that, I'm gonna say shalom.